What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Omega Ruby walkthrough. Okay, so, in our last episode, we were up here in Mount Chimney, kicking some candy ass, taking some names and all that stuff. And, uh, I try to get out of here, but the old lady right here will not let me. Instead, she'll heal my Pokemon. I mean, that's a good thing. She'll heal my Pokemon, but, yeah, she will not let me through. Look at that. Look at that. Yes. And recover our Pokemon and all that crud. Yes. Yes, we got... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you see? She, she's gonna heal your Pokemon. That's nice. Uh, the reason why I wanted to leave here was because I wanted to go get the Acro Bike. Unfortunately, I don't have it. So, we're gonna be seeing uh, tidbits of me getting... Uh, well, getting around here. Kinda need the Acro Bike for this one. So, the first portion of this episode will be me battling, you know some of the people right here and then the next portion will be me going back up battling the rest of the person after i get the acro bike so uh let's see let's see let's see what how, how should i do it oh yeah we're just gonna be battling whatever uh let's see uh going down here of course you're gonna be finding some pokemon that right there is a spoink and uh is it rare or something search level one and uh, no it's at level 19 it's whatever uh, I'm not trying to capture any Pokemon just yet, but as you can see, this is the reason why you need the Acro Bike. These little, uh, uh, gray, uh, tablets right there, yeah, you need to jump on those little bastards to get back up, and, uh, well, I'm gonna be going sliding, sliding down, and, uh, well, I'm gonna be missing a few portions right here and there, and, uh, well, let's see, wonder what this one will do. Right here, and, uh, we're gonna be going up here, well, at least we're gonna get one TM out of the whole thing. And here we have TM69 Rock Polish, a very, very good TM. Well, it actually speeds up your Pokemon right there, or your uh, your Rock-type Pokemon. And I don't think you can get back up there. Hold on. Oh, yeah, you can. Huh. Why would you look at that? Okay, so let's see. I will be battling people. So let's go right ahead and not save the game. And uh, let's see, let's see. Well, we got Raiden. I got... Well, I got three Pokemon at level... Th oh, I got two Pokemon at level 30. You know what? Let's go with Gaia. Let's, uh... Let's try and evolve Gaia in this episode right here. So let's, uh... Let's go ahead and take care of this guy right here. He's like, I've been, uh... I've been to the hot springs and refreshed my tired bones. Right now, I'm feeling strong. Okay. Whatever you say, homeboy. Here we go, going up... Oh, wait, it's a homegirl. My bad. <laughs> Expert Shelby. Now, that's a unisex name, too. Okay, here we go, going up against a Metatite right here, and here is Gaia the Fierce Knight, looking all pimp and strong, tippy-toeing its way through victory and all that stuff, and uh, pure power. What does a pure power do? I don't know. Really don't know. But I'm going to electrify this Pokemon because it will increase my uh, my special attack right here, and this guy, just faint attack. It's, it's just a regular faint attack, and uh, look at that. Takes half his HP. We're gonna be going again. Wait, what? Wait, it didn't. It didn't increase its speed. Its special attack. What the hell? Yeah, I'm just like confused right now. And uh, there we go again. And uh, well, actually, it might be that effect. Hold on. Let me see. Let me see. Hold on. Summary. I'm looking at it. Uh, check moves. Hold on. Trace. Light. Uh, never mind. Screw it. Whatever. If you guys can tell me what pure power means. Comment down below. And uh, let's go with the disarming voice right here. It still has that. Don't know why I kept on using charging uh, charging uh, charge beam or something like that. So there we go. Bam! Meditite still weak against fl uh, fairy types. Yeah, buddy. Okay. Alrighty. And uh, she's gonna be coming out with a Hariyama. So let's stay. Let's stay put right here. Bring it on. I'm looking at you, big hands. Time to eat this disarming voice for the win. Oh, uh, yeah. And that doesn't need... Oh, wow. And there's its belly drum, so that kind of helped me just a little bit. And its attack went through the roof, so let's go right ahead one more time with the disarming voice. Didn't really need to do anything right there. And, uh, yeah, buddy. That's how you take care of that business right there. Look at that. Gaia number two, or Gaia number one, grows to level 29, and Claymore is growing levels like crazy. So is Hydra number two, and it's finally learning some kind of a move, Ice Fang. So, let's see. 
I have three dragon type moves. I don't think it will miss Twister at all. Alrighty. Okay, so there's that Ice Fang. And, uh, well, oh my goodness, now aren't you something? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Okay. Uh, let's see. Actually, hold on. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. I think, yeah, I got like two super potions. If you guys don't remember, in my last episode, I only had 24 Poke Dollars and all that stuff, and uh, it was because I was buying off new TMs and stuff. And, uh, well, there's nothing right there. So, we're going to be moving on forward right here. Oh, yeah, there's a hiker right there. So, I'm going to battle him. Take care of the battles first, and then take care of this guy. Okay, so, still our goal is to evolve our Pokemon right here. Now, this is what I've always wanted in a mountain. The jagged bumpiness, it rocks my soul. Okay. Let's go. Hiker Eric would like to battle, and he is coming out with his Graveler. Okay. Homeboy, let's see what you got. Let's see what you got. You got a Graveler right here. Alrighty, and it's got its sturdy attack, or sturdy uh, technique, and let's go with a Magical Leaf, see if this actually makes him faint or weaken him. Of course, sturdy saves him for one more HP right there, and here comes that smack it down. And, uh, wow, took me the hell down right there. So here we go, one more attack. And look at that. Say goodbye to Graveler. Yeah, buddy. Okay. And Vesuvius growing level 25. That's nice. Good. Good. It's finally learning something, or it's finally uh, growing levels and stuff. And, uh, well, let's see. I, think, I don't think there's anything else that we can find right here. I think we're at the very end now. Oh, crud. All right. Let's go down here. Oh, yes. We found ourselves another full heal. That's always nice there, too. And, uh, well, let's see. We got another trainer waiting for us. She looks like she got a fairy type Pokemon, so let's go right ahead and switch out her Pokemon here. Uh, let's go with Vesuvius. We haven't used this guy in a, in a while. It's finally winning. Hold on. Oh, crud. Okay, so my indication is telling me that this Pokemon is a little rarer than usual, and this little girl is not going to let me capture this Pokemon. Good gravy. Come on. Okay, here we go. We're going to have to time it. We're going to have to time it. Okay. All right. Here we go. We're going to have to time it. Damn it! Okay, never mind. Okay, so that, that kind of screwed me over, so let's say goodbye to that rare pig whatever it is, and, uh, well, let's go with Vesuvius and just burn him to a crisp right now. It did learn a new move in the last episode, right? Yes, it did. Lava Plume. Oh, yes. Look at that. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Destruction. Oh yes, it was uh, it was pure destruction right there, and Claymore is learning a new move, Protect, which I uh, kind of don't need right now. And here comes Jigglypuff. I'm gonna continue on right here. All right, Claymore, you're finally winning stuff. Let's do this. Let's do it for the bitches. Lava Plume, get it, and uh, it burned him to a crisp, but it, it, it stayed there. And here comes that disarming voice. Ah, oh, crud. Not so effective, but that burn takes care of the rest of Jigglypuff. Burned you to a crisp, buddy. Alrighty, alrighty. And uh, there goes Nelly. Nelly for Tata. Okay. So that is done. And, uh, well, there goes that Pokemon that I wanted it, or I could have captured. And, uh, well, there's another Pokemon that's appearing on me. So we're going to go down to right here. And we got another trainer waiting for us. So let's go ahead and battle this person right now. This place isn't a casual hike. It's uh, not suited for a picnic. Okay. Okay, so here we go. Going up against Diana, and here she comes out with a gloom. We're gonna take your. We're gonna take care of business right now with Vesuvius. Oh yes, yeah, so let's go, Vesuvius. Do it for Mount Vesuvius. Do what Mount Vesuvius did. Destroy. Look at that. And no more. No more. Oh, wow, Gloom just survives right there. It's a survivor, but here we go. Flame Burst. Yeah, buddy. Oh, yes. And that that right there is just no good for that Pokemon. And, uh, well, Raiden's growing to level 28. It's finally growing a eh, very good level. And here comes a Swablu, so let's go right ahead and take care of business with uh, Raiden right here. Eventually, uh, 
Hopefully Claymore will evolve pretty soon right here. Well, no, I actually... What, level 30-something? Yeah, probably level 30-something. So here comes Swablu, and, uh, well, let's go with a Volt Switch right here. Let's take care of it. Yeah, buddy. Okay. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. Alrighty. Okay, so look at that. We defeated Diana. She's not feeling so salty right now, and, uh, well, let's see. Uh, is there anybody else here? I don't think so. Okay, so we reached the end of this whole, uh, this whole place, and here we are back at Route 112. And, uh, ladies and gentlemen, we are finally entering Lava Ridge. Now, it's a very peaceful place. Awesome place and all that stuff. Okay, so what I'm gonna do right here is I'm gonna go off screen. I'm gonna get myself my acro bike, and we're gonna go right back to the Jagged Pass because we need to take care of other few things. There's like items there that we need to get. So, I'll be right back, guys. Alrighty, Daddy's back, and uh, he's got himself the acro bike right here. Now we can actually bounce around right here. Look at that. Look at that. We're bouncing around and all that crud. Okay, so. We're going to be going downstairs right here, and uh, we're going to be looking for more stuff around this area. Let's see. Well, we can actually bounce right here. As you can see, you can actually press the B button right here on your control controller pad, and then actually jump up and down and all that stuff with no uh, no problem whatsoever. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab the items right here that we, uh, we forgot to get, and then uh, if there's a trainer here and there that we need to battle, then let's go right ahead. And look at that. We got ourselves the TM43 Flame Charge, a very good move that will actually speed up your Pokemon. And, uh, well, let's see. Let's go ahead and uh, do some more bouncing. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Okay, and uh, let's see. I think we already battled her. Yes, we did. And uh, let's see. Gonna go right here. I don't think we've battled you yet, so let's go right ahead and see. Yes, we haven't battled you yet. Jagged Pass is hard to walk on. It's a good place for training. Yes, it is. Okay. Alrighty, so here we go. Camper Ethan would like to battle, and he's gonna be coming out with his Gulpin. And, uh, well, Gulpin. Gulpin is looking all, uh, all crazy and stuff, so let's get right to it. Vesuvius Lava Plume. I'm starting to like that Lava Plume attack. Look at that. Oh, yeah. It's like a combination of Earthquake and uh, an and, and Explosion or something like that. I don't even know. And, uh, well, that doesn't do much. But, yeah, my... Oh, wow. Special Defense is severely damaged. So, let's go with a Magnitude. Magnitude. Let's get it. Yeah, buddy. And that's how you take care of business right there. Look at that. Oh, yes, and, uh, well, let's see, we defeated Camper, good, good stuff, good stuff, okay, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, what's next, oh, yes, we got this one right here, we found another Max Ether, this is good, and, uh, let's see, where are we going next, okay, so we've already been through here, and, uh, yes, we're going towards the very end right now, and, uh, well, now we can go upstairs right here, because we already battled her, and, uh, yeah, she kind of screwed up our chances of trying to find the, that rare Pokemon. Now, we can't go uh, through the sand pit or the uh, the sand dunes right there. But we can go all the way up the other way. But, wait, hold on just a sec. Hold on just a sec. We're bouncing. Look at that. Oh, look at that. We found ourselves another item. An X defend. Good stuff. Good stuff. Okay. Let's do this again. Going up. And, uh, well, let's see few memories about this this whole specific area well I actually thought that Spoink was a, a pretty good Pokemon at one point and then that it would evolve into a very good Pokemon and then you know I found out not really I actually thought a lot of things when I first battled this or when I first played this game or when I first played Pokemon Sapphire that was actually my first hoeing game right there and crud we're gonna get attacked Alrighty, so here we go with the Machop, and Vesuvius is about to kick some butt right now. Yeah, buddy. Okay. Let's get the heck out of here. Okay, let's move on. Let's move on. Alright, let's see. I know... I know that we got in a few other areas right here that we need to get to, so let's go straight up. Look at that. Going all the way back up, and uh, we should have gone right here. Okay, so right here... Going up, going up, going up, and, uh, okay, we need to go up here. We can't go up those sand areas right now. So let's go right here. 
No, actually, it's this area right here. Now, I one time went through the cycling road bouncing. That was hilarious. I think I did that on Pokemon uh, Emerald right there. Correct me if I'm wrong, guys. Let's see. Oh, yes, we haven't gotten right here. And crud, we're getting attacked. And here we have another Numel. Okay. Bring it on, you a-hole Numel. Oh, wait, I got a Numel myself. <laughs> All right, let's move on. Let's move on. And let's see, right here. And, uh, okay, right there, we found ourselves a super repel, which, uh, well, we're going to be doing right now. Actually, let's go upstairs. Let's go right here. And look at that, look at that. Okay, so let's go ahead and use that super repel we just found. Okay, right. Crud, where are you? Where are you? Oh, there you are. Okay. Okay, so let's get the heck out of here. We've already been here, and uh, I think we've, yeah, we've already been there. So I think we took care of everything right now. I think we did, yeah. We already battled you. Yeah, there's really nothing else that you can actually find right here, except for these people right here. So, yeah, we're going to be going down, and uh, that is pretty much it. Uh, well, really, you didn't need the acro bike at all, but you did, you will find two good TMs right here. So, here we are in Fall, or Lava Ridge Town, and uh, yeah. In the next episode, guys, we will be taking a small tour of it, and then we're gonna be battling. Uh, we're gonna be battling our other girlfriend. You go. You guys know who it is, Miss Flannery. I'll see you guys next time.